Hello, my name is Lucas, and I will present my study entitled The Influence of Species Abundance, Diet, and Phylogenetic Affinity on the Co-Occurrence of Butterfly Fishes. Understanding why species are where they are at different scales has been one of the main focus of ecological and biogeographical studies. According to Darwin's naturalization conundrum, species have higher chances to occur in habitats where close relatives are present. Two close related species tend to have similar traits that could intensify competition for resources when in sympathy. This could lead to a competitive exclusion in a habitat scale. Here, we studied the global co-occurrence patterns of butterfly fishes in relation to species abundance, trophic characteristics, and evolutionary histories. The chitodontid family is composed by reef fishes that are easily identifiable through visual senses. There are approximately 130 species occurring in tropical and subtropical reefs. Also, this family has different non-diet types and a good phylogenetic resolution. For this study, we divided 60 chitodon species into specialist or generalist feeders to answer the question. Does phylogenetic affinity and our species abundance explain co-occurrence patterns at the habitat scale? To answer this question, we used visual census to estimate butterfly fishes' co-occurrences in 23 localities. We considered the transect area of each census as a habitat scale. Contrary to what we expected, we found no clear correlation between species co-occurrence and phylogenetic distance suggesting that the evolutionary process do not influence species co-occurrence at the habitat scale. Instead, species abundance exerted a major influence in interspecific co-occurrences, which provide support for the hypothesis of neutral process resulting from the random encounters among individuals. We also found that specialist species tend to co-occur more than generalists, this probably due to the less overlap in feeding resources. For the second question, we ask, are the diets of scissor species from the Atlantic Ocean and the Eastern Pacific phylogenetically conserved? For this question, we used a more detailed diet classification of eight chitidon and four prognathod species, testing the hypothesis that close related species will possess similar diets. Our results shown that most of these Atlantic and Eastern Pacific species have a generalist diet, feeding mainly of cnidarians and polychids. But almost all the close related species shown a different diet. In summary, we found that both abundance and resource partnering play a major role in explaining butterfly fish occurrence instead of phylogenetic affinity. And also, there is no correlation between phylogeny and diet of our Atlantic and tropical Eastern Pacific butterfly fishes. Thanks for watching.